We confirmed that backup tapes from 2011 no longer existed because they have been recycled. Do you know who said that? Sounds like me. It is you. The backup tapes may in fact exist. I have no information as whether there's anything usable on those tapes. Did you read the release that talked about a scratched hard drive? Does that concern you that it was scratched and not crashed? I find it vexing that once the IG is involved, nobody else can do anything. I, that is not supported by the law. Why didn't you tell us you had, the IRS had destroyed emails that belonged to Lois Lerner? Why didn't you tell us that? So they were not destroyed as a conscious effort by the IRS. To if the folks like Lois Lerner and others would have spent less time targeting groups and less time trying to overturn Supreme Court decisions they didn't agree with, maybe morale would be better. I don't know where to begin, but I'm, we're going to get you through the backflips that have just gone on in the past two days for the IRS. That was the commissioner, John Koskinen, getting grilled this morning by Republican lawmakers as the IRS is once again accused of misleading Congress in its investigation into the IRS for targeting conservative groups. Today, Commissioner Koskinen testified that contrary to many prior representations, including by him, Koskinen, backup tapes containing the, quote, lost emails from Lois Lerner, who's at the center of the scandal, may in fact exist. They may have backup tapes. Just a month ago, Commissioner Koskinen testified backup tapes do not exist. Carl Rove is a Fox News political contributor and former senior advisor to President George W. Bush. Let's put it on the board. This is Koskinen a month ago in June telling Congress, quote, we confirmed that backup tapes from 2011 no longer existed because they've been recycled pursuant to the IRS normal policy. Today, they do exist. I don't know how they found them, he testified. <laughs> Carl. Well, it's actually worse than that because Koskinen made that statement and then did not proactively come forward and say, I found new information. In fact, what happened is last week, Ways and Means investigators interviewed the deputy counsel at the IRS, Thomas Kane, and he said, we think we've now found them and we think they now exist. That information was released on Monday. There's been no attempt by uh, Commissioner Koskinen to come up from his, to come up to Congress since his, since his uh, mistaken testimony and correct the record. Mm -hmm. and so then, it's, uh, it's even worse than you, it, it's even worse than you depict. So that speaks to the backup tapes of these alleged emails. And then they asked him specifically about the hard drive, which the IRS had earlier told Congress it, that thing is destroyed. No data is recoverable. That's exactly what they told them. And this is, they said it in court and they actually said it in July. Here is a declaration they filed in court. There was a determination made that it was no longer operational. This is the hard drive. And that no data was able to be recovered. Well, you know what they said this week? Well, the hard drive was scratched, but data was recoverable. I mean, they, they can't yeah. even get yeah. their story yeah. straight under oath. Well, it's even worse than you depict because what happened is, is Koskinen makes that statement to Congress. Now, also remember, this is weasel language that they filed with the court. They said they said it was they couldn't recover data. Ways and Means Committee investigators are talking to IRS and uh, IT people, the, the nerds in the back shop of the IRS, and they say yes, it was it was scratched. It was not irreplaceably damaged mm -hmm. and we couldn't have recovered it but other people could have recovered mm -hmm. it so again once again Koskinen said something under oath and then did not proactively come forward when his own people uh, told him otherwise I, I assume his people told him otherwise other, other or are the only people that are actually at talking to the IT people who did this in the IRS are the only people talking to him the investigators from the House Ways and Means Committee. You know this but, is why the again, American is, public is, don't, is, they want to see this through Carl the American public they they, yeah, they smelled well, some smoke and there may be fire. Yeah. Yeah, look, well, last month in June 24th, Fox poll, 76% of the American people said they thought it was a deliberate effort to destroy the emails, and 74% said Congress should continue to investigate until someone is held accountable. And I bet those numbers, that was, July, that was June 24th, I bet the more that this information gets out, the higher those numbers get. It's incredible when you see it. I mean, as a lawyer, it's, it's incredible to watch the reversals. Carl well, Rove, good and, to see you. Then, what, quick, quickly, go ahead. You, well, 
uh, Koskinen today saying, I'm not going to ask anybody any questions as long as the inspector general is, is looking into this. It's like, I'm not, I, it's, hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. I'm not going to, I'm not going to have the responsibilities as the commissioner in charge of the IRS to look into this matter. I'm going to just basically say, I'm not going to do anything until the IG is finished with his investigation. And I thought the members of the committee were very uh, pointed when they criticized him for, for doing this. No statute requires this, and effective leadership demands another course. They didn't think he should, he should uh, shirk his perceived responsibility. Carl, good to see you. Thank you. Well, big